needs radical revision due to slow smartphones sales growth. With the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the spin-off Galaxy S6 Edge, having seen the Korean firm return to former smartphone glories, it has been suggested that the Galaxy S7 is being rushed to the market in a bid to stave off competition from the recently released iPhone 6S. S6 might still be one of the hottest smartphones on the market, but the Samsung Galaxy S7 is already being tipped by the ever faithful rumor mills. So guys, in this video, we will be rounding up all the leaks and details of Galaxy S7. But before going into that, I would like to suggest everyone that this is just a rumor and the final product may differ. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. This internal code names are pretty popular with Samsung devices and this time it has been revealed that the Galaxy S7 has the code name of Project Lucky. So let's take a deeper look at what Project Lucky has in store for us. Let's start with the design and build. After much criticism with the S line about the cheap build quality, Samsung went through a massive redesign phase and finally brought high-end materials to Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Both featured a frame made of aluminum with a glass back, making them the best Galaxy S smartphones ever. The Galaxy S7 is expected to be built on these foundations. While the design of the S7 might not be completely new and different from its predecessors, the build materials are rumored to be different. A Chinese site inews24.com has reported that the S7 might use magnesium-based alloy chassis to strengthen it further, potentially leading it to better heat dispersion and a lighter phone as well. On the other side, a Korean site KBench has allegedly spotted a trademark request from Samsung filing a new type of glass cover called Turtle Glass, which is meant to be even more sturdy than Kroning's Gorilla. Either way, it sounds like durability will be Samsung's key focus areas for the S7 this year. And now moving on to the display. Samsung used a 5.1 inch 2560 by 1440 Super AMOLED screen in the S6 and S6 Edge. And it's likely that this screen size will continue for their next generation display as well. The real question here is will Samsung go for a full 4K resolution for this next phone or will they stick with the 2K? A report on Asian Today claims that Samsung will follow in the footsteps of Apple and release the Galaxy S7 in two new sizes. One with the 5.2 inches and the other one with 5.8 inches. However, it's unclear whether these screens will offer the same QHD resolution as the Galaxy S6 or whether the firm will follow the Xperia Z5 and kill out the handsets with 4K displays. Unlike the Galaxy S6 which launched in both regular and curved screen, the Galaxy S7 will reportedly be launched with the curved screen as standard, ditching the regular display altogether. This news comes from a Vietnamese website, Samsung Viet. If the rumors are true, then these handsets are likely to be called the S7 Edge and S7 Edge Plus respectively. Well, more interestingly, these screens are set to be equipped with technology similar to that of 3D Touch, seen on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. A leak on a Chinese social network, Weibo claims that Samsung will use Synaptic's ClearForce technology in the next smartphone that will be capable of registering level of force as well as movement. Synaptics said that it will provide manufacturers with new dimensions in user interfaces, such as speed scrolling, zoom, gaming and text or photo editing by applying a variable force with a finger or a stylus. More rumors claim that the so-called S7 could feature a foldable display. The firm is reportedly testing a phone codenamed Project 5 that on the track to be released on February as well. We will be covering more on these foldable phones from Samsung in our different videos. 
Now let's go about the specifications. In terms of power, the S7 is likely to feature Qualcomm's recently announced Snapdragon 820, with the firm reportedly optimizing the chip in order to prevent overheating issues. Snapdragon 820 with Adreno 530 GPU chipset is 40% faster and 30% more power efficient than Snapdragon 810. On the contrary, there's also another floating rumor that Samsung will have its recently released Exynos Octa-Core 8890 chipset on the Samsung S7 which featured the brand new custom architecture codenamed Mongoose. Reports also claim that Samsung will use the new Snapdragon 820 for S7 in the US and China, while Samsung's own Exynos chip will appear in other markets. As for RAM is concerned, it looks like Samsung will stick with a 3GB of RAM. A report from Sam Mobile pointed out to Geekbench with a 3GB of RAM under the name Project Lucky. On the other hand, a similar Geekbench test was leaked under the same codename but with an LTE tag. This model, however, was equipped with a 4 gigs of RAM. Another rumor comes after Samsung announced of mass producing 12 gigabytes of LPDDR4 chip back in September. With this announcement, packing a whopping 6 gig of RAM in future smartphones is finally possible. This suggests that the next generation of Samsung flagships could be first to honor 6 gig of RAMs. Camera in the Samsung flagships have never been an issue. With each iteration being better than the previous one, S7 will undoubtedly house the latest and the best camera. Back in July, Samsung announced world's first 1.0 UM pixel-based 16 megapixel camera sensor which is 20% smaller than the Sensei it replaces. This makes it likely that the S6 unsightly camera botch will be trimmed down or maybe removed altogether. On the other hand, according to Wilbo Tipster, Samsung is in talks with Sony to use the new 20 megapixel ISOCELL sensor. Although Sony were resistant to use it exclusive to Xperia line only, that's the same shoe that found in the Xperia Z5 is the best among the top camera sensors. The sensor has a 190 point hybrid autofocus system which turned out to be brilliant on the Xperia Z5 with the focusing time of 0.03 seconds. But a tweet from tech blogger, and pardon me if I pronounce this name wrong, Steve Hemstoffer tells a different story. With an anti to benchmark of Samsung phone codenamed Lucky, he suggested that the S7 will have a 16 megapixel rear facing camera and a 5 megapixel front facing shooter. It also lists out another spec such as 5.7 inch quad edge display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor, and 4 gigs of RAM. Other speculations points out to a USB Type-C port on the Galaxy S7, which means promisingly quicker charges, speed of transfer speed and pleasantly reversible cable attachments. It's quite obvious that the S7 will inherit all the features from its predecessors, from the awesome fingerprint scanner to wireless charging capabilities, but the most interesting rumors came from the Chinese site Weibo, which claims that the new flagship will have a micro SD card slot. This leak also suggests that only 32 gig and 64 gig variants of S7 will be available. The return of the micro SD card slot will definitely please Samsung Galaxy S5 fans if true. But one feature would probably not return is a removal of battery, as this wouldn't be possible by compromising the premium design of the handset altogether. On the other hand, a report from South Korea suggests that the Samsung S7 might have serious audio skills as it could use the Sabre chip from ESS Technologies. The chip features a 32-bit mobile audio DAC and has 129 decibel signal to noise ratios. So a Samsung could be set to give HTC a run for its money when it comes out. Coming on to the software. Galaxy S7 will most likely feature Google's latest Android 6.0 Marshmallow with toned down version of TouchWiz. But one of the most interesting things could be on the security department. Rumors claim that the smartphone will offer Windows 10 style iris scanning technology similar to that seen on Microsoft Lumia's 950 and 950XL. Iris scanning works by scanning the eyes of the smartphone's owner through the device's front camera. According to Android Authority, Samsung is working with SRI International to incorporate this next-gen security standard to the mobile devices. 
Traditionally, Samsung announced Galaxy devices in February during Mobile World Congress, but this time it is widely rumored that the S7 will be launched during CES in January 2016, with the price tag of around $650. With a slimmer and sturdier body tipped to make an appearance in two sizes, improved camera optics, a new and a faster processor from Qualcomm, and software enhancement, Samsung Galaxy S7 is set out to be a beast. Beyond a curved display, the handset is even rumored to have a 3D touch technology, USB Type-C charging, iris scanners, and a new audio chip. With all these mind-boggling features, will the Samsung's curved screen really point out to the future of smartphones? Well, we will have to wait until Samsung officially announces its ultimate flagship, the Galaxy S7. So that's all for this video guys, I will be coming up with more S7 details in the near future. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. Stay tuned for more and have a good one.